Hi there, it is Tuesday, October 20th. This is English Language Arts. My name is Mr. Newman and this is our class recap. Um, we're going to start with the planner today. If you haven't had a chance to record your planner into your Hanby student planner, it's a good time to pause and do that. Um, so let's look at our goal for today, which is I can demonstrate mastery of a strong quick write. So uh, every time that you've had to record a quick write in the past, um, today you're going to record what you read and post in Flipgrid. Um, every time I've asked you to do this in the past, it has been after the fact. So today we are doing it um, at the same time, which means um, you really want to focus on doing a good job. So I'm going to take you back to the notes that you have on W2 in your notebook. They are right here. So quick writes and free writes. A reminder that a really strong quick write, uh, the question is clear in the response. I can see it there. Um, you'll hold up your page before you start writing. You've written at least three quarters of a page in your notebook. Um, it's original, it shows what you're thinking, and it makes connections to your life experience. Then finally, it shows depth of thought, and it gives multiple examples. So, uh, in a moment, you're going to start writing. Our prompt here is down at the bottom of the page. It says, when there's disagreement, how did you differentiate fact from fiction? Explain using examples. So there's generally been a time in your life when you have completely disagreed with someone else or you've observed two people who disagree. How do you tell who's telling the truth? Okay, that's what your prompt is about. So take a minute before you start writing and think, what kind of examples can I use to explain this? How might I explain this to someone who maybe doesn't understand? How can I weave this into my own life? Okay, remember when you start writing, you want to try to write the entire time. It's part of the assignment. All right, I'm going to start the timer, or sorry, I'm going to pause and let you start the timer um, and then write for six minutes. I'll come back, restart the video when you're done. Okay, welcome back. So um, now that you finished writing, take a couple minutes and look back at what you read or what you wrote. Maybe you read it over and ask yourself, can I make this more clear? Do I like what I said here? Did I use the right examples? Have I talked about my own life? Okay, maybe go back, redo, add to it. You don't need to write the whole thing over, but is there anything you want to cross out or is there something you want to um, add in? You can, you know, write it in the margins and draw an arrow, something like that. Go ahead and revisit what you did, pause and come back. Okay, so um, now we're going to talk about how to do some navigating in Flipgrid, um, how to see feedback if, if you want to see it and uh, how to post. So here I am, I'm in fourth period. I don't know if this is your fourth period class, um, but I'm gonna open the assignment and I'm gonna follow the link to Flipgrid. When it asks me uh, in this one, it turns out that I had not logged out. So let's try that again. So it'll ask you, do you wanna join with Google or Microsoft? And you click join with Google. And then it'll ask you for your name and you can do that. Um, and now you're logged in. So one thing that's important to remember is please make sure that you read the instructions. So right here it says, read your quick write for today, October 20th on Flipgrid. Before you start, hold up your notebook to the screen to show me your writing and then begin. Um, if you are doing this after the fact, like it's you know sometime in November or the end of October and you've come back to this, um, please make sure that you always read this stuff. Make sure that your quick write is on topic. Today's prompt is about fact versus fiction. If you're completing this after the due date, return to the planner page for Tuesday, October 20th and thoroughly review the prompt before posting. So this part is super important. Like I, re I look at a lot of these where someone just didn't read the instructions and they posted the wrong one. So if you didn't do this one, it's like it's a pretty good time to go back and do it and then post. All right, so you can either click uh, record a response here or the big uh, orb down below. But after you're done, um, if you go to the upper right where it has your name in this drop down arrow, you've got a couple of things. Uh, one is you can go to dark mode if you want to, or light mode, or dark mode, or light mode. Um, but you can also uh, go to my Flipgrid. And if you go there, you'll see posts that you've done and if I've given you any feedback. So, for example, this is one that um, I recorded this morning. And uh, what you can see down below is here's the feedback that's for quick writes. So depth of thought, original and complete, like those are the three things that are in the Flipgrid category. And so when you get a score from me, it'll be just a score that's one through 15. But if you're wondering how you did on yours coming to this individual feedback spot, 
is a really good place. So right in here, feedback, that's where you can view how you did and um, if I have any suggestions for you. Okay, so going back to today's lesson for today, we have um, quick write, post, and then read independently. Make sure that you've written a really good one, post a really good one, read your book. I'll see you next time.